goes to great lengths to capture a couple's sunrise engagement, okay? Right. So mm -hmm. they set this whole thing up where this photographer was gonna go and climb this mountain wow. with this gentleman, and it was gonna be this moment where they're gonna capture this beautiful proposal. Mm -hmm. But it turned out that it was the wrong couple's proposal. <laughs> and his actual client was an hour late, Brittany. Oh, no. Look, see, see, he's oh. right there in the background. <laughs> no, he got it. He got it, right. <laughs> so the photographer actually found this couple after putting out a request on Facebook. And it turns out he can be seen in the back of the personal pictures, as you saw. Oh, the couple no. who were from Texas tried to hire a photographer and they couldn't. But now, thanks to the mistake, they have professional pictures of their special moment. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? What oh are the odds gosh. of that happening? Like you plan it out. Yes. You're like, I'm going to propose to you on this very mountain top right. yes. at this time. Right. So you know that they had to go early and, the and get the up there. the exact same plan. The same plan. And yeah. then wrong, wrong guy. The other guy was late. He texted the guy, right. but I'm sure out there probably didn't get to him in time. And yeah, and he was like far enough away because I was like, how would you get because they were having communication before yeah. and I was like, how would you get like pictures of the wrong couple if you've met? But he was like far yeah, away. Yeah, you can tell. <laughs> which, so he could get the whole scene and yeah, no, that's crazy. Mm, yeah, no, I, I couldn't imagine. I felt bad that. for the other couple. Okay, well, I, I know <laughs> they didn't get any photos, right? No, <gasps> nothing. Ooh, well, sorry. They got, they got photos of another couple. <laughs> Well, See, this, this couple, this is our idea. Yeah, <laughs> it's a, just like picture this, only our faces. They should just Photoshop their faces on to the picture of that. Of that, oh, that would be great. <laughs> there we go, we fix it for you. Right. Okay, this is pretty cute. A 96 year old man finally hears a love letter written by his wife 72 Aww. years ago. Alan Cook found the unopened letter while renovating his New Jersey house. It was in a crack in the ceiling and dated 1945. The envelope was addressed to Rolf Kristofferson, who was a sailor in the Norwegian Navy. Cook's daughter looked up the name on the internet and found the man's son in California. He then called his father and read the letter to him. Hearing the words brought tears to both father and son. Aww. Virginia Christofferson wrote the letter before her son was born and spoke about the baby she was going to have. She died six years ago. Oh, that is so sweet. I know. I couldn't imagine. Do you write, do you, have you ever written love letters to Paul? No. no. You need to write him a love letter. That's so sad. I know. Yeah, you need to write one now. Yes. You can write it right now if you want me to read it. <laughs> you, dear Paul. Dear Paul. Dear Paul. I love you. Time <laughs> you for know me to read if I, this if, thing. If I, read him a, a, if I wrote him a letter and it was longer than this page, he'd be like, oh, I got to read this whole <gasps> thing. No. That's what he would say. Paul. He told, yes. If there's a voicemail that's really long, didn't, won't listen to it. Didn't if there's an email it. that's too long, won't read it. Oh my gosh, mm -hmm. Paul, Paul, come on. Paul sweets. All right, a woman with Virginia ties is named Miss USA. District of Columbia! Oh, Kara McAuliffe, who represents Washington, D.C., took home the crown last night while Miss New Jersey came in second place. The 25-year-old chemist works for the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Yeah. Sure, right? Okay, uh -huh. so she's no slouch. Uh, was raised in Virginia Beach. Uh, she will go on to compete on the Miss Universe contest. 51 women participated in the decades-old competition. Last year, a woman from D.C. became the first ever military member to win Miss USA. And this was the first time ever that they went um, back to back. So it was Miss DC last year uh -huh. and Miss DC this year. And I watched the whole thing from beginning to end. That girl, I mean, she was working it the whole way through. She was like with confidence. She was walking like she already won that thing. It was nice. it was amazing. Sometimes so, that's all it takes. Congratulations. It's just that confidence yeah. and, and she's a scientist, so it was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. All right, well, it is graduation season and the commencement speeches are rolling in. Will Farrell spoke at USC's graduation and he took it one step further by singing. And I <laughs> okay, so he, he just said, if you're ever feeling alone, just imagine me singing this to you. And then he jumped into the song, and that's how he ended his speech. <laughs> yes. I love it. So good. Okay, well.